Yeah, I mean, obviously my husband's going to win the race. Um, no, no pressure, Tim. Uh, yeah, no, I think he's in great shape, but there's uh, there's like 15 guys that could win um, if they had their perfect day on on tomorrow. So, uh, I mean, obviously the Germans are very strong. We got Jan and um, Sebi and and Patrick Lang, the top three from last year. I think they'll be you know in the mix again this year. Jan, you can't really go past him as the favourite. Um, and then there's people like Ben Hoffman, um, very solid here in Kona every year. And uh, I think James Kanama could be back um, for a good chance at the top, you know, top five spot. Uh, I mean, I could go on and on with the men's race and I'll, I'll shift over to the women's because I probably am more familiar with the girls racing. Uh, Daniela is the overwhelming favorite, uh, well-deserved. I don't think anyone will come close to her if she has the race she's capable of. And then outside of her, Keza Sali, uh, the Finnish athlete who was fifth last year. She she's a better athlete this year. I think she'll be vying for a top three position. Rachel Joyce, also a new mum. I think she obviously has shown that she can race very well here in Kona, and I think she'll be back on the podium. Um, if she doesn't get a top three, she'll definitely be in the top five. Um, I'm going to say Heather Jackson um, is another athlete that you know could be in the top three, top five range. Um, I'm, quite, I'm probably going to miss out on someone, but they're kind of the main names that I'm looking at. Lucy Charles is the, kind of the dark horse athlete. She's been racing very well all year, a phenomenal swimmer, very good on the bike too. Um, so she'll be up the front early and I expect her to, to race pretty well. She'll be a top five athlete as well.